And in like the first two games, we used to play a lot of three on three. So I was playing with Zeke, and uh, you know, we was in like high pick and rolls, and uh, you know, and I was in scenarios where the, like the same scenarios as tonight. And I was just kept kept finding them and giving them confidence. And then tonight, it just showed, you know, from the three on three that we used to play. And I'm just like, yeah, they're just coming to light now. Uh, that's that's honestly what I do. Uh, I'm getting more and more comfortable being out there, and uh, as you can see, a lot of stuff is more stuff is being displayed, and uh, I'm showing a lot more. So it and that's what I do is get the crowd involved, and uh, I'm a fan favorite, and I can already tell that that's been me my whole life. So it's just gonna keep happening and keep uh, as as the season goes along. Coach said you can tell that you're a fan favorite, and you understand why. Yeah. Have you felt that? What have you felt from Nuggets fans so far? Uh, just a uh, a loyalty uh, standpoint. Uh, they support at a high level, and uh, no matter what, if I if I play good or if I play bad, they always keep the same energy towards me. And uh, you know, I couldn't ask for you know better Nuggets fans from that because at the end of the day, I'm still learning. But at the end of the day, I'm still you know, I got a lot more to give. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that that guy, man. <laughs> I really used to like go home from school, come home from school, and then I used to eat a bowl of cereal, and then after that, because <laughs> I had to eat after school, I was hungry. <laughs> but after that, uh, <laughs> I would get my phone, and I would literally turn on hot sauce. I would get the basketball, I would hold the phone up somewhere, I would try to go to a mirror, and I would literally do every single move he did. And uh, ever since then, I and I would go to the gym, try to practice him. And uh, it, that that's, that guy's just been like, you know, just like my like a, a favorite to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, just from me being able to get into into the lane whenever I want, and then uh, creating for myself, and also creating for my teammates. But uh, I'm putting so much pressure on the defense because they don't know what what I can do. But like once my shots start falling, then it's really gonna get scary though. Just continue me just continuing to learn and learn everything and learn uh you know my teammates more uh out on out there on the floor. I'm starting to get more comfortable of calling the plays, you know, ahead of the, the play, uh telling guys, you know, bringing them to the huddle. Just get, me just getting more comfortable and comfortable, you know, just being out there and uh, you know, understanding my teammates, what spots they like and uh it is it's allowing me to get more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Natural. Uh, I've been doing that since I was younger. As a little kid, it's just my, uh, you know, God-given instincts that He gave me and blessed me with, and uh, for me the ability to get in the lane and and, and create whenever I want, and uh, you know, thank the Most High for that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. How important is it that the basketball IQ that you showed us? How important is it? Where did that come from? Uh, just a lot of film. Uh, a whole lot of film. I watch a lot, tons and tons of film. I grab a coach literally after every practice or before practice. Like, I don't care if we watch the film. You know, uh, one time I'm like, nah, let's watch it again. Like, let me keep learning and learning and learning. I'm a big film guy, and uh, you know, I missed the free throw, but I didn't let that you know take me out of you know winning the game. Uh, I know we was up three, but at the end of the day, they could still hit a three. So I'm like, you know, let they. I heard in the huddle we had a foul to give, so I'm just letting the clock go down. I don't think the other team knew I was about to take the foul, but you know, 1.2 seconds is hard to get a shot up, or 1.4. So it was definitely a great foul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. It's crazy to watch. And uh, I don't, I ain't even going to say it. I'm just let them keep doing it in the beginning of the game. You'll probably know what I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, just the ability just to keep watching him, you know, and how he overcame injuries and, uh, you know, adversity too. And, you know, it's, it's probably one of his best, you know, years that he had. 
It's in a, in a long time. He's looking like himself. He's playing like himself. You know, his mindset every day is, you know, win, 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 and what can I do for the team to win? And, uh, you know, he's displaying everything, defensive end, offensive end, and uh, just being able to watch that on the sideline, all I do is smile. And every time he comes to the bench, I give him a big hug because that's really like a big brother to me. But, uh, you know, I, I just really, you know, enjoy and love watching Will play. Hey, Bill, I'm sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Coach, Coach said that uh, you have poise beyond your years. Um, how are you feeling personally just in terms of adjusting to the NBA and the speed of the game and things like that? Uh, it, it's really honestly slowing down for me. Uh, I'm starting to get to read more and, uh, you know, just like I said before, just getting more comfortable out there. Uh, it's, it's really just slowing down for me and that's, you know, going to get a little scary. Hi Bones, congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, how important it for you have the confidence from the coach and your teammates uh, to take the ball and call the, the plays in, in your first uh, games in the NBA? Uh, they always tell me in uh, huddles or uh, just any moment they got, you know, chance to talk to them, they just say, just keep being aggressive, go get the ball and, uh, you know, make a play because can't nobody stay in front of you. You can create your shot whenever you want. And uh, it's just been a, a blessing just to hear that from, you know, the vets and my teammates because I, they trusted me as a rookie. And uh, me coming in, that means a lot to me because I know what I can offer towards this team. So uh, that's just building a lot of confidence in me. And, uh, you know, it, it's definitely going to get scary. All right, thank you, Bones. Thank you, guys. Thank you.